Good to have you with us. Eight minutes away from seven o'clock. Let's unpack uh, what was a busy weekend for the ANC. Now, that celebration or reflection, depending how you want to look at it, was off the back of the state capture inquiry report uh, that was released last week. Let's get some analysis from Professor Sipo Siepe uh, joining us this morning. Morning to you, Prof. Always good to have you on ENCA. So uh, my understanding is that some people are calling for the state capture report and the state capture inquiry, uh, to be exact, to not be all about former president Jacob Zuma. Where do you stand on this? Well, no, I think um, the report uh, is out and it has made its findings. And what's important is that uh, there should be implementation. I mean, there's a promise that uh, the president of the country and also many people expect. But uh, be that as may, it's also important that uh, we should realize that uh, the commission by its uh, definition and its processes is not as rigorous as one would expect when there's uh, issues of cross-examination. So there'll be issues of fact that will be challenged. So we are not yet there where there's an issue of uh, implementation. This is why the president of this country had suggested that uh, he should be given time so that he can respond to it comprehensively. We must also understand that the commissions are by nature there to assist the government and the state to find ways in which uh, the commissions of errors and omissions of errors are prevented in the future. So it is a future looking in terms of what is it that we need to do so that we do not repeat uh, what has actually happened. So that is the first challenge that the, the commission must address. Then the second one is uh, really whether the issues of facts can be dealt with. And there are already people who are questioning uh, the report in terms of issues of fact. I'll give you an example. There is a, a, a a statement that says uh, the former president uh, fled the commission. But uh, we saw what unfolded. There was a debate around whether Zondo can act partially or impartially on the matter. The fact that it has gone to the court, it overlooks the fact that uh, he had also approached the court for a recusal. And that process was not dealt with. So there will be these issues that people will raise. There are people like uh, 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 Molefe, who would also be raising their own issues. Somebody like Mani has already come out to say what is put there is actually rubbish, that there are statements that are being made, but there's no corroboration of evidence. So all these issues will have to be cleared up before the state can actually say we will be able to implement this. But where there's clear wrongdoing, where there's crime committed and evidence is very strong, Nothing prevents a law enforcement agents from acting right now, even before Robert Posa can actually come up with his comprehensive response. To be fair, though, those implicated in the report, in the inquiry, uh, are always going to, I would imagine, disagree uh, about what happened during the commission. It's just human nature. Of course they're going to disagree. Many people were pulled over the coals uh, because of what they allegedly did. It only stands to reason that they are going to disagree. Surely we, we expected this. Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, that's why those who are talking about the hasty implementation are missing the point that uh, there's still the notion of audio alterum. But uh, remember, the commission is a space where there was also free flowing, where people were simply allowed to say the things that they said. Some of them were found to be untruthful. I mean, you, one must remember the bombshells that were supposed to be coming from people like Vicky Mento. And they uh, in the end, whatever she had said was not found to be truthful. There are issues that are being omitted, but they, we leave it to those who are implicated to say, given that you are likely to face sanction through the law, it is up to you, and also you are given that opportunity. I mean, our law allows that the, the people who are accused can have recourse through the law. So the issue here is how many of those would be taking that route. And also, when you look at the report, some, the suggestion that some must be prosecuted, and in some cases, there should be further investigation. So the, the, the process is not complete. There mm -hmm. are many other processes that have been suggested by the very same uh, report. So my sense is now, as the, the president of the country suggests, that at least from his position and from government, they will not be hasty. They'll make sure that when they respond, there are no comebacks.
Prof, uh, last question to you briefly, if you don't mind. Uh, the fact that you brought up in your first response uh, that there were terms used like President Zuma, former President Zuma, uh, fleeing the commission. Words like that, that kind of tone being used. Do you think that this could uh, raise questions about the impartiality uh, of this report? Yeah, of course. I mean, there was no reason why you talk about the, the notion of fleeing when actually there was a debate, and the debate was very serious. So serious that somebody like Sekani even suggested that Zondo has acted in a manner that is not befitting the judge. And he did even say to him that given your position and what we consider to be a, a conduct that is unbecoming the judge, I'm going to report you to the Judicial Service Commission. So the report does not even touch on that, that this is a process that is also going, that uh, is also implicating Zondo in terms of the notion of impartiality. So all those processes are going to come. And uh, because of also the report, we are also looking forward to where Zondo, when he wants to be a chief justice, is going to be dealt with by people like EFF, who have actually indicated that uh, we do not agree that mm -hmm. you acted in a manner that was actually fair. So these are issues that, uh, as society, we saw them unfolding. So it is not only the Zondo report that uh, will give us what, what happened. We were also witness to that. Professor, always good to have you with us. Professor Sipo Siepe joining us. Reaction to the State Capture Commission inquiry report and uh, what we think is possibly going to be happening going forward. Prof, always appreciate your time speaking to us here uh, on ENCA.